Hi, I'm Misha with Stay Home and Come With Me, a transformational journey without and within. And I am out today, out at the Garden of the Gods for winter solstice because it is a wonderful day to be out and about and get grounded. But you know what else it is? It's also the dawning of the age of Aquarius. It's also the Great Conjunction. Now, the Great Conjunction where Jupiter and Saturn are aligned together so closely that they look like one star, that is kind of a moment in time thing. But the dawning of the age of Aquarius, well, that's a little different. Aquarius coming to zero degrees, that's taken some time to do, and it'll take some time to come out of as well. Think of it like morning. Say you call morning 6 a.m. Well, as the clock is moving towards 6 a.m., shades of morning are coming into being. And as it moves away from 6 a.m., shades of the next time of day are coming into being. That's what's been happening with the age of Aquarius as well. Yes, we have been in Capricorn time for essentially 200 years, Earth, an Earth time, a heavier time, a time when we've been toiling, working the Earth, growing things, agricultural type industry, and, um, and, in, and in the industrialized age as well. That is all true. Divine masculine energy, where things are more about working long hours and you have to work really hard if you're going to have anything. And, and it's all about me and mine and taking care of what I've got and you take care of what you've got. That kind of mindset. It's true that that, that has been primarily what we've been in. But we have been moving away from that shades of age of Aquarius have been coming on for a few decades now because we have had technology coming into being. We have been moving from that heavier mentality, more of the earth mentality, more toward the air mentality for some time now. And we have been moving from divine masculine energy into the divine feminine energy for some time. Now, what do I mean by divine feminine energy? Well, divine feminine energy is about flow. Divine Feminine Energy is about doing things from the heart, your why of doing things. And when you do things from the heart, your why of doing them is why, is why you're doing them, and everything is flowing, then work doesn't feel like work. You don't get tired from doing it because you're doing it because you're inspired. You all know how that feels when you love what you're doing so much that the whole day's passed and you're like, whoa, it can't be time to quit already. I'm not even tired. That's divine feminine energy. But the truth of the matter is, what the age of Aquarius is about is not the flower child, oh my gosh, we're not going to do anything but sit around and sing kumbaya around the campfire type thing. It's, it's not that at all. It's really about moving away from Capricorn time and the shades of age of Aquarius that we've been in where the divine feminine energy challenged the divine masculine energy, which we've been doing since about the 60s now, about their, that stuck way of doing things and where basically masculine energy overran feminine energy. We've been challenging that for some time and we had to because we went too far with divine masculine mentality. We went too far with the, it's me and mine, and you've got to work, 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 and I've got to have everything I can possibly have. We went too far with all of that. But the universe doesn't want us to go too far with the divine feminine energy. Yes, the divine feminine energy had to come in and had to challenge the divine masculine energy. But if you've noticed, we are pulling toward center. The age of Aquarius is going to be about balancing those two. As a matter of fact, one of the things I'm going to talk about in, on the YouTube channel, I'll, I'll go into the extended story uh, on one of the shows, or maybe even two or three, because it's quite an extended story, about um, my role in discussing balance. And boy, is that going to be funny to some people. Funny because I've talked about balance um, throughout my time talking with people about chronic pain, um, my career doing that, but also because I found it so hard to live a balanced life because I'm a workaholic and um, many other things. So, but that's been one of my challenges in life. And so therefore, it's one of the things I'm called to talk about. And one of the things that were point, was pointed out to me weeks ago was, your role is going to be to talk about how we're actually not moving from divine masculine to divine feminine. We've been doing that for some time. What we're talking about now is balancing the two. You see, 
so many people who talk about now the divine feminine energy especially in work they talk about it like it's all just magical like oh my goodness it's just magical thinking and it's just gonna happen if you just think it it just happens well there is a lot of truth to that with manifesting that what we think is what we manifest but there is time also when you do have to actually do some work and so when you take being in flow and what you're doing is from your heart and that's what you're thinking about and that's what you're manifesting and you balance that with doing the work but not working all the time when you have work-life balance that's what the age of Aquarius is going to be about because see when we're working from the heart then we have the right why and when we have the right why abundance is going to come to us for that reason not because all we do ever is work because working all of the time is not going to bring abundance in because that's not balanced either. The age of Aquarius, what we're moving into is really about balance. And it's not just in the divine feminine, divine masculine way of looking at work. It's also in looking at relationships as well. All relationships. Um, it's truly like each of us have within us divine feminine and divine masculine energies. It's no longer going to be where earlier, say, in, in time here, we had distinct divine masculine roles, distinct divine feminine roles, and we were stuck in those roles and expected to maintain those roles. And we came together as a couple to bring those two roles together and be a strong couple. Now each of us is going to balance that within ourselves and be a whole individual first. And then we choose to become a couple. And when someone who has done that chooses to be in union with someone else, then instead of two halves coming together to make a whole, you have two wholes coming together that are choosing to pull together and do doubly great things or exponentially great things even, depending on the dynamic of the couple. So that's the kind of thing that um, we're going to be talking about on Stay Home Come With Me, a, journey, a transformational journey without and within on the YouTube version that's coming um, in 2021. We're going to be talking about all of these things which are now becoming um, a part of our awareness, our consciousness through enlightenment, expansion of consciousness, spiritual awakening, all of the things that also have been happening as we've been moving into the shades of the age of Aquarius. And now here we are at the dawning of the age of Aquarius. So, yes, here we are. It is the age of Aquarius and it is a, a, mo a moment in time worth remembering, but we have been moving into it for some time. We're gonna be in it for some time. The big moment to remember is that today is the great conjunction. And of course it is winter solstice. So go out, get yourself grounded, make today the best day possible and I'm so glad that today you're staying home, being true to your authentic self, but coming with me on this journey of transformation, however you choose to do it. Close your eyes, open your mind, come along. Thanks. Bye.